Hello, hello guys. Good evening, good morning and good afternoon. So now today I'm on a live stream with Miles on Vance. Come up, where are you? <laughs> knock, knock. Yo, what's up everybody? Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> Great so to meet you brother, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Great. So I, I didn't ask you, what is the time difference from Germany to Estonia? Oh, right now it's one hour difference. It's 10, 10 or three over here. Ah, uh, okay. Here's nine. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So I want to introduce you, Miles on Vance. I met him, I think one week before mm -hmm. on the Bolton Bankrupt video. Yeah. Yeah. So that it's a, it's a very, what is it? Amazing. It's amazing. Hey, Jason. Hello. Welcome the live stream. We have a new guest here. It's Miles on Vance. He has a YouTube channel and he met Bolton Bankrupt. <laughs> Go check it out. Link below. Go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Did I have a link? Yes. I have a link in my description. Yeah. There you can find a link uh, to Miles on Vance. He has an awesome channel. Yeah. So tell, you want to tell how you met? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, um, I think they should get to know a little bit about me first, right? Yes. Um, you know, I moved from Nigeria when I was in my early eighties, in my early twenties, sorry, to Europe, started in Europe and actually based in Europe. I actually migrated to Europe. But it's Europe. already a secret. It's no longer a secret. Now they can know, everyone knows, but, um, actually I love vlogging i love documentary i love photojournalism or video journalism been doing this um honestly since 2014 only amateurish i only filmed for friends and family where i go you know i share on my instagram or on a family chat only that but one day cool. yeah i decided to you know go public i decided to you know travel and make films for everyone else as well I only started this June doing this, you know, like getting your confidence, trying to, you know, show the whole world what you're up to, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot when you're not used to that, right? But I was doing it only for friends and family. But this June 2021, I decided to, you know, pick up my camera. And guess who made me decide to pick up my camera against all odds? Mr. Bored and Bancroft. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. And the so what, what, uh, your audience, where are they from, from all over the world? All right. When I started in, uh, I started my vlogging in Barbados and, um, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Two weeks after my filming in Barbados, 50% of my viewers were all from Barbados. You know, this YouTube oh. metrics thingy, they try to, you know, show oh. it to the locals first, then they, you know, shift it beyond. Right. Um, I got. A lot of comments, a lot of um, people following and subscribing from Barbados, all tons of comments, good and bad, ups and downs. There mm -hmm. was a video that, you know, like got the attention of all, I mean, Barbadians, like Barbadians. That was the video of the Walk of Fame I made in Barbados in the center, in the city center. So I got shit tons of likes and subscribes or subscriptions from that video. But, um, Subsequently, later on, I get people add me from Australia. People follow me from Australia, from the U.S., from Canada, wow. and from far and wide. But yeah, we're still a small community. We'll get there. We still yes. Going. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is, brother. But we can help each other. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, when I saw you like one of my video and comment, right? Yes. When someone who has a YouTube channel come in and like, I get a notification. I don't know what the odds are. Hello from Canada. Hello, Jason. I saw you and I went to your channel. I was instantly impressed. I was like, yeah, this is my kind of thing, right? <laughs> your, your graphics. Thank you. you. You're, very good at very, you're very good at graphic design. I mean, I love your thumbnails. They're very good at click baiting you could always want to click on it because you want to see what's inside you know uh, cool yeah, that's that's really very good I, I i love it it made me 
watch a few of your videos on that night. It was around 2 a.m. I was almost falling asleep, but I wanted to see what was there. And I loved the underwater filmings as well. I mean, like, that's really very cool. That's really very cool. Yeah, but it's just simple. I just go in the sea with the cam. <laughs> um yeah i mean like it happens as well that most of my videos that i think are simple people are like blown mm -hmm. away you know, like wow you know but i like yeah just go out there and meet people and you know interview them and you know like, talk yeah about you know them. sometimes i'm thinking my videos are too overdosed no because i, I make all so. these things with the with the sounds and with the effects and 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 sometimes i think it's overdosing no, because no. you know bald and harold or whatever they make just simple ones you know like one you. thing one thing brother just be yourself you don't have to be like anyone else right yeah that's good yeah yeah pick up your camera go out there do your thing and do it the way your mind tells you to do it just be yourself be unique right hello maniac Nice to see you here. Hi, so, Maniac. Yeah, Maniac is from Canada, and he is now already in Mexico. He's in Mexico. In Mexico. And, yeah, yeah. Wow. He's, he's also a small YouTuber. He has a small channel, but um, he, he bring out some some uh, videos from Mexico now, and they the, the videos are already working. Yeah, Maniac and the the Miles on Vans. Yeah, where are our names? Why are they gone gone away? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I met him one week before um, on a video that was suggested me on the on the YouTube main page um, because he met bald and bankrupt coincidentally and he yeah. he, he can uh, tell the story about uh, how he um, how he um, I met him right how how he how you met him and um, yeah hello Kevin nice to see you ah Kevin you are from India I I, I remember you from my live stream from Greece. Cool. Nice to see you here. Hi, Kevin. I'm coming to India next year. I'm going to do oh, wow. India, Bangladesh, maybe Pakistan. I don't know. But India, for sure, I'm coming next week. Next year, I was supposed to do India this year. But due to Corona, I did more of Europe than, you know. Uh, so India is the is best country to boost your, boost the, the, yeah. um, the channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing India, yes, next year. But yeah, back to how I made yes. Bored and Bankrupt, right? So I was thinking about a country where I could go and easily speak Russian because I do speak Russian, right? And I checked about um, Russian visa and what's mm. required from me to get Russian visa. It was a whole lot. It was a whole lot. So okay. I, could not, I could not meet up to get Russian visa, but I met up the requirements that I needed to get um ukrainian visa so russian visa would have taken me one month think about one month and your vacation is all done you're done you're not gonna do anything mm -hmm. but ukrainian visa would be ready in six or seven days that was a good deal for me so i went for okay. it yeah i went for it i i was scouting a location when i was traveling from kiev to dnipropetrovsk so i scouted znamenka the video is on my channel then I went to Dnipro because I saw on booking.com there was a 20 euros hotel with a Soviet interior. It was interesting for me. So I wanted to go there and film. But before going there, I thought maybe I should, you know, explore around. I went around, looked for things that are of interest, filmed them as well. Then the next day I was stepping out of this 20 euros hotel. Mm -hmm. And guess who I saw in the lift out of nowhere? <laughs> Crazy. Out of nowhere. I mean, it was yeah, yeah. crazy. Out of nowhere. I was on the fourth floor. I wanted to go to the reception to give the keys because I was checking out. So I pressed the lift on the fourth floor and it stopped on the second floor. And guess who came into the lift? Out of nowhere. It was Mr. Bold. I was like, whoa, Mr. Bold. He, he stood like this. He looked at me for a sec. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? I said, no, you don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, That's like, not a problem to not to know him. <laughs> now I gave him my camera. I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this." He was like, "Yeah, let's do it." it was very friendly. It was very Did, open minded. What was your what your camera camera already running? If you still stood in the in the elevator, when we were coming out of yeah. the when I, we were came, coming out of the lift, yeah. I was like, "No, I'm gonna roll my camera." I got yeah. my camera already set up in a sec. I was like, "All right, we're gonna do this." I started the play button. I was like. Hey, over. 
he, he was he was really he was really um it, it was really a moment to remember it was like um the previous video i made when i was going to Dnipropetrovsk, i was like hey if you've seen board and bankrupt tell that guy i'm looking for him etc and the next day i met him what, what are the odds you know mm. my, my friends actually couldn't believe it a lot of people who watch my channel actually watch him and they're like wow really like how is this possible you know but yeah then we talked about a lot off camera he wanted to know my story a bit of my story as well he told me he was going to do some more filming in ukraine which he did but overall he's a he's an awesome guy i mean like you meet him you he's gonna like make you happy he's gonna make you laugh at least mm -hmm. he's very welcoming right like you see him on the on the stream or you see you watch his video it it looks like maybe he might be intimidating but when you get closer to him you kind of understand that he's he's a very likable guy as well he's very friendly i mean like we connected like we knew each other from 20 years ago but like it was just an, an instant moment but yeah you, you should I, I guess maybe one day you should run into him as well in your travels in your films <laughs> so is it does he he's the same like in his videos yeah of he, course you know yeah. he is he is yeah very very Why much not here yeah. very much the same yeah camera might kind of you know put some effects on the face but oh like 100 percent the same mm. yeah guys go check check uh, miles on Rand's channel and there you can find the video when he met Paul in bankrupt and it's a it's a really nice conversation with him yeah we did we did i gave him my camera he was blown away he was like wow <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, what? But yeah, I saw the camera he films with, quite simple, very minimalistic. I think you do film with the same camera, right? With the same camera, yeah. But yeah, I, I think I think he will stick on on his camera. Yeah, I mean, like when if it's working, why why look for another one? You know. But yeah. Like, my my style of filming is the double view. <laughs> yeah. On the one side is me, yes. and on the other side is the external is the external view. I mean, like that's kind of my style you know like the way i see myself filming and vlogging i mean it might change but maybe not now not in the near future let's see, let's see yes yes absolutely so if this this camera style is a different one but um it's in yeah it's your it's your style so it's cool hey six awesome guys here six awesome people in the live stream nice to see you if anyone want to come up on the screen here's the link again if you want or if you're not no problem and and now you are right uh, you are in estonia right now i am in estonia yes. when did you I'm... arrive there when yeah when i arrived in estonia about two weeks ago so i'll be here until i think next week i'll be mm -hmm. here until next week friday until i fly to the uk then after the uk I fly to Moldova for my next filming. So my next filming will be in Moldova. In Moldovia? <laughs> Moldavia? Yes, in Moldova. Ah, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You can also come come up here to Germany for some Yeah, of course. I have a lot of friends in Germany. I mean, uh, I was in Germany this, this, uh, this summer, but I didn't film in Germany. Well, OK, I'm going to tell you a little bit of my story, right? My so, story. Wait, wait. Uh, just give uh, Maniac an uh, answer because he's asking Miles, what do you film with? <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. I film actually with my phone. Yeah. I'm, I don't film uh, with, with in a, a gimbal. Yeah. I film with my phone and a gimbal. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an iPhone 12? No, iPhone 12 can't do that. So I actually film with. All right. I can't make. I can't type here, but I'm going to tell you. I filmed uh, with my phone. I, I thought it. I thought it's a, a secret. Yeah, it, it's it's not a secret. I mean, like it's my style, but it's not a secret because. Like, no, I saw. I thought it is a secret because you told me yeah, you want to make a, a a video on your channel. Like, hey, I introduce you my. I'm camera. still gonna make a video, so it's not it's not a big deal. I mean, this yeah, is yeah, it's good. I film with my camera and my my phone, and the phone is Samsung Galaxy S twenty. Okay. Samsung Galaxy S20. Find the function in the camera, which which says, um, yeah, that's impressive. Actually, it is. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, whoa! I was blown away. I was like, really? You can do this? 
I am flying tomorrow to Barbados because I was planning my trip in Barbados. I was thinking, what should I film with? I have a GoPro, but man, I don't, I don't want that switch to come suddenly. I still want to film with this phone and the gimbal. When I film with GoPro, maybe it will be like an extra view or additional view. And the battery is way impressive. You could film for 12 hours. I mean, not nonstop, but you could film and keep filming and keep filming. The battery almost never runs out. I love that phone, you know? Crazy. You film, cool. Yeah, you can film with iPhone, whatever, iPhone 20 or iPhone 50. On your second film, the battery is kaput, but the battery of this phone is so kaput. good. <laughs> Yeah, crazy, yeah. But, but because Paul said to you, hey, um, well, your camera is amazing. He didn't yeah. said, hey, your phone is amazing that you're filming with a phone. <laughs> the way I set cool. it up, the way I set it up, it almost doesn't look like a phone because ah. I, had, yeah, I had a small microphone attached to it. Yeah. What? I was beaten by the rain sometime in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And that microphone is Chinese, maybe some experiment out of a homework, it got kaput as well. So I need to reconfigure it with another compatible microphone that makes it not look like a phone. I mean, if you look at it from- Wait, from, wait, talk, talk, because I get a call. I just, wait, wait, talk, yeah, talk, go talk, 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 talk. Yeah, so when you look at my camera from behind, it looks like a phone actually, but when you're holding it, and the person who is holding it with you is looking at it. It doesn't look like uh, a phone. It looks like an actual camera I set up. But yeah, it was great to miss, meet Mr. Bo Myers, uh, Mr. Board. He, uh, he he let me know a lot of things, like, I mean, of the camera. I mean, encouraged me, sent me as well on. Uh, yeah, of course, I know you're listening, Just I can see the live stream rolling. Mr. Bold is a great guy. He sent me on a mission, and that mission got me a lot of views and that mission got me some subscribers as well i mean like yeah i'm so lucky to have met him guys i mean like i tried a couple of times to let him know that of course maybe we can do a collab he didn't say no but of course his plans come first you know yeah it does recon front and back at the same time right brother right i actually uh it was a tip off my camera on my phone that I filmed with was a tip off, right? So a bit of my story. I watch a lot of documentaries. Yeah, it does, it does, it does, it does. I never saw this question coming. I could have come with the camera, but it's not with me right here. I could have shown you, but it does film front and back simultaneously at the same time. It does. Yeah, go watch this, watch this video so you can see it like yeah, it you can simultaneously see it. two screens, yeah. Yeah, it does, it does. So, I mean, I'm not under any sponsorship from Samsung, but if you want a good phone for yourself that is going to make you happy, <laughs> long battery life, <laughs> great camera, go for it. I mean, trust me, go for it. It doesn't disappoint, yeah? I, I travel with two phones, one iPhone for, you know, my SMS, emails, etc., and my Samsung exclusively for filming. Yeah, and what what gimbal you using? A DJI gimbal, a small no. one, a big one. I, I have. Don't, I, I don't have any expensive gear set. It's uh, all it's all cheap, you know. Like, I don't have the. I travel once in a while, and I don't think it is wise now to you know start buying expensive gear. No, no, no. But I mean, what's the name of that? I can, I have the app on this phone. I can, I can look. Can. This is my gimbal. Yeah, that's, that's the one very I big use. one. That's no. the one I use. <laughs> ah, crazy! Yes. <laughs> it's a uh, um, what is that? Sion Smooth Cool Three. Sion, that's my gimbal. Yes, but it's very big. Yeah, that's my gimbal. Yes. Oh, yes. that's funny. We have the same gimbal. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I'm going to show you something. Wait. Hello. Hello, Mahal. So here's my girlfriend. Say hello to my girlfriend. Hi, Samarina. So Samarina, she helped me a lot on YouTube. She's actually, she is the, the, the one who helped me uh, everything about YouTube. Wow. 
Yes. Great. Great. Yeah, Sam, this is Miles and Dave. He met Bolton Bankrupt, but um, Sam is not, not familiar with Bolton Bankrupt. She's not familiar with, with uh, Bolton? Yeah, she don't know or she's not, she can, uh, it's not her type of views. Okay, okay, I understand. But yeah, I mean... I think, like, I, I, I hope I don't t t tell uh, wrong, uh, Mahal, but... Uh, no, 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 no. You didn't say anything wrong. But my, my, my travel style is all laid back, all cheap. You know, I travel with the gimbal, the same you had. I bought that gimbal on sales. It was 45 euro. You yeah, know. cool. I bought the same. I bought it second hand for 30 euros. <laughs> yeah, you see, the same. And I, I had the phone as a gift from my sister. Mm -hmm. So it's free. I only cool. have my my normal phone, my regular phone to me, which I bought myself, you know, a long time ago. But I travel as well, you know, very laid back locations. I mean, where mm -hmm. I can get something, pass a message, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not like um, a high class traveler who wants to show all sort of flashy lifestyle. It's all laid back for now, at least, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. And, and you are, you started your channel in 2019, yeah? Um, I created my YouTube channel for my vlog in 2019. Mm. I did a couple of vlogging, but I didn't, didn't like them. But I can say officially I started this year in June, June of 2021. Mm. And One now you, you're, you're already still in contact with Bald and Bankrupt, with Benjamin. Yeah. With Benjamin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, of course, like we do, you know, chat every now and then, but like short chats, you know, one or two things and that's it, off and on. But yeah, like, and as you, you know, this is Bunjo is uh, in contact with Harold because, yeah? yeah, I don't know, one year ago or whatever, um, Harold made these um, a lot of Instagram stories. Do you remember that? I don't know if you if you follow him on Instagram. I don't follow Harold on Instagram. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because he made a big, what is it, uh, challenge on, on Instagram story. And this is Bonjo, he's a very, very awesome, funny guy. Um, and, and he made a lot of um, stories then for him. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it was very funny. <laughs> so this is how, how I met him. Oh, uh, yeah. from, from the stories, yeah? It's cool. Yeah, 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 from the stories from Instagram. But I'm also new to Instagram. Maybe I'm using Instagram. I don't know one year no one Less year than one oh. year i don't know yeah so and it's, uh, you don't want to talk about why you can afford the traveling no or, or, um, it. it's not it's not a secret <laughs> yeah because you know for me me it's uh, I'm, i have a full-time job yeah i do have a full-time job i i told my community all a long time ago i have my regular nine to five you know well, I do in I work in an IT company and I do my regular nine to five. But IT company? Job, yeah, my job is very flexible, very flexible. I can get a lot of free time. I can travel on the weekends, you know. I mean like it's it's a dream job for me, it's a dream come true for me. A long time ago I couldn't do this because I was working and studying, you know, trying to, you know, find the balance between work life and study so life. Do, right do you now. can do your work? Even you are traveling from your computer, I like, could. A dig, like a digital nomad. Yeah, I could if I want, but ah. I, I want to do filming when I travel. I want to film, you see, mm -hmm. because like that's the way it will make sense for me. When I travel, I want to travel to film. That's that's it for me. I could if I want, but like I don't really think I should be combining both of them at the same time, especially on the weekends when I'm absolutely free. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. <laughs> It's a hobby and um, it comes with a little bit of a challenge, you know, when you want to balance traveling, getting back, you know, from either jet lag or from the, the stress of travel and you want to edit. And especially when I travel and speak Russian and I remember that, oh, I need to edit my videos to put the Russian uh, translations for my community to understand, oh, it takes me time. It takes a shit tons of time, but it's okay. It's all good. Yeah, so, so you have a good opportunity that you have uh, this flexible job, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, um, like, I I'm also have a good job, like I'm flexible on the, what is that, on the daily schedule, 
you know i can plan myself but i'm already on this full-time job means i'm working every day and getting you know this vacation like 30 days or whatever in in, in one year so that's mm -hmm. uh, not a lot so i was very happy when i had to done the the greece road trip with oh. my with my mother because we already planned that last year in january before the pandemic and the oh. pandemic kills the whole trip you know so we needed we get some vouchers from the airline and blah 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 and now we we what is it uh, we do it because last year we can't do it um yeah i mean i worked for four years and after four years i earned six weeks vacation free mm -hmm. so I, used oh, okay. all, I used all the six weeks to start my vlogging journey so i worked for four years until may of 2021 immediately it was june i decided to travel and mm -hmm. the guy who made me pick up my camera was actually mr board himself but mm -hmm. right now I still work. I still have my regular nine to five, although very flexible, very, very flexible. Mm. I have my time on weekends to go wherever I want, at least for now within Europe. And um, I still love to cover life among the you know old Soviet states. So that's why you get to see a lot of videos about me in Ukraine, in Moldova. Mm -hmm. I still want to you know experience life more like in the countryside of these countries until next year when I hit India. Mm -hmm, okay. Um, but you cannot talk about where you are a resident. No, I live in Europe. Yeah, yeah, but you don't say like, hey, I live in Paris or I live in I migrated, Rome or whatever. I migrated from Nigeria to Europe legally as a student. After being a student for how many years, I started working and I have my residency in Europe. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, um, everything for me begins with a video of Harold Balder. Uh -huh. I think now it's already two and a half years bef uh, ago. I, mm -hmm. I watched that movie, uh, video and I thought, oh my God, that's crazy. I want to do the same because before I met Harold on YouTube, I had the idea I want to make a world, world trip just for myself, just for myself. And after I watched Harold's videos and getting, a, what is it, a, into this kind of living or whatever, I had the idea, hey, why are you not making a world trip and vlogging at the same time for YouTube? So, but then the come pandemic comes and I was not able to, so I, I, I want to save more money from the full-time job. Then I met um, Samarinia. And we had the idea to to meet to, together to make a make an um, make in a couple channel, right? A couple channel because you have to know Samarinia. We, we we never met. Wow! Before then, you never met. Yes, 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 yes. We we want to meet. We want to meet, and yeah. But it's uh, the pandemic. It makes it complicated, and um, but um, we are looking forward. Maybe next year we can meet. Right. Uh, what, what was the biggest challenge for you when you travel, or when you travel to film? To film? Yeah. Um, to to, to, to stick the camera into other faces. <laughs> ah, to flip the camera, right? No, no, to, 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 just to go to, per, to persons and talk to them and holding the camera and, oh, yeah. uh, okay. and you know, in Europe, maybe the, the people, you know, in Germany, you, it's not so easy you cannot they will say hey what are you doing why are you filming me blah 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 yeah. but because if you travel in asia or whatever and um, it's more more easier because people are i don't know more, more open, relaxed more open. more open i don't know yeah 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 mm -hmm. so that's sometimes a little bit uh struggling for me to yeah to hold the camera to people they are like mm -hmm. hey can i have your permission to film you <laughs> You have then you have to it. you have to learn that to that you can don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I don't know many Canadian. Are you already here? Um, maybe you have the same feeling. Like I'll give you a tip. I'll give you a tip from my experience. So when I when I'm filming, when I'm filming with my camera, 
and approaching people. I watch them. I see their reaction. I see, I see how welcoming their faces are. Mm -hmm. If they're like, then I don't bother them. But if they are interested to see what I'm up to or what I'm about to, then I approach them and it almost always works. Some might say, no, they don't want to talk. Then I cut that off, of course, like I don't want to post that. Yeah. But I would say nine out of 10 times, it works. When I see them and I see, I wear a very smiling face and of course saying things that perhaps they understand, they can hear. When I approach and I see their welcoming face, I approach them and usually it works. Uh -huh. But um, there was this experience, it was in Barbados. But, but, but you know, when it's very busy, maybe on the market or whatever, you cannot cannot scan everybody, you know, every single person, like you mm -hmm. just go. <laughs> to, Most to... of the times I film and people just come meet me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I film and people just run into me. That's And we, we end up creating great content. It happened here in Estonia. I was traveling to a city that had border with Russia. As I got out of the train, there were two guys there automatically already waiting for me. I don't know them, but we made friends. We made, you know, we had a um, great time. So, Mania Canadian, what is your feeling with film other people? you have a problem with that or not? Let's wait for your answer. You want to talk about Barbados? Barbados? Yeah, let's get to hear what he says. What a good conversation and the good people in this, this chat. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Jason. Thank you. What is that? Maniacs will join my dinner. <laughs> yeah, same as, same as eating her dinner. So once I was traveling, I was filming in Barbados. It was uh, close to Rihanna's house, Rihanna's uh, childhood home, right? Ah. The, neighbor, the neighbors were looking at me. What is this guy up to? What is he talking about? But on YouTube, there are millions of videos that are actually showing that house, that particular house. So I was filming, I was, you know, you know, doing my thing. And immediately I focused my camera over to the neighbors. They were like, what are you doing? Don't film me. That's not, that's not nice. Don't do that. And I was like, all right, hold up, hold up. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to cut it off. No problem. Paparazzi. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, like, how can you be such a very welcoming touristic country? But mm -hmm. people, the locals don't want something that a tourist is doing but i'm like okay is, is it illegal to film people here or or what mm. then that experience was like mm, should i continue should i not continue then i went and i did my thing mm -hmm. okay then um so, yeah. so many said uh, at first he was state fraction uh, but oh, later, uh, right. uh, yeah the more you get used to it, the more it gets easier. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. But um, the the most impressive, the most impressive for me so far, was in Barbados. I, I know that I know that other people from other countries, like if my community from Ukraine are watching this, they might be they may, they might be like, uh. But what what happened in Moldova was that I came into this village, right? no idea of who is there, no idea of who is living there. Like I had nobody there, I had no contact. I just wanted to see the village for myself. Because on Google map, I saw there was a monastery. I have this thing for monasteries. Mm. I have these things for monasteries. I love to see monasteries. I, li I like to see the architecture. I, don't, I, want, I like to see the interior. I came into this village, there were two grandmas. Jason, thank you. Yeah, Jason. Yeah, thank you so much. So My God. These, these two grandmas, they were just on the street talking, having a conversation. And I bumped into them and they were like, who are you? Where are you from? You know, I, we had a lot of conversations off the camera, but they gave me permission to film their homes, not inside, but inside their yard, everything. I came out, they were nice. They showed me the way to the monastery and a woman one of them actually invited me to her home, went straight to the garden, mm -hmm. picked, picked a lot of vegetables from her garden and gave me for free, you know? And I'm going back to this woman as a surprise visit, you know, to show my gratitude to her in another way. So the video should be up sometime in November. Cool, cool, cool. 
Yeah. Nice, nice to hear that. That, that, yeah. that was one of the most impressive moments of my vlogging career ever. Oh, yeah. That, that, you know, I'm not a lot of vlogging, you know, outside and traveling because I'm not traveling, but uh, I want in the future, whatever. And when I was in Greece, I had a, a different kind of nice, uh, it was like, um, we booked spontaneously the hotels or whatever. And I booked one and I wrote him an uh, email like, um, hey, I'm making videos for YouTube and I want to film your um, your, your hotel, blah, blah, it's okay. Yeah, he, he wrote me, it's okay. And when I already, when we already arrived, he said, yeah, okay, blah, 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 and uh, you get an upgrade. He, he, he gave me an upgrade of the room to the union suite only because of, I, I, I t told him like, hey, I make YouTube videos and I will, what is that, recommend your, your, your video later uh, on, on, on my YouTube video. <laughs> that was a nice experience. Bravo, bravo, bravo. I think, um, yeah, the, the last film I made in, in Ukraine, the guy was, um, he was inviting me to sleep over. He was so welcoming. He was so overwhelmed. I mean, like he hasn't, he hasn't seen people of my type before. He hasn't seen black people come to that village exactly. Mm. Maybe in cities, but like come to their village. It was unbelievable for him. He tried so much for me to sleep over. He made the bed. He made everything ready for me. But the next day I had a flight. I could not, I could not afford it. I checked mm. train connection in the morning, like anytime. It was so unfavorable for me. I had to leave that night. So it was so, free for free. Yeah, for yeah, free. Yeah, 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 yeah. For free. Mm. Invite, invite, invitation. Yeah, yeah for free. For free. Wow. I mean, it's, it's been, honestly, like, I haven't had any, so to say, very bad experience so far. Nope. I have never had any bad experience, like, mm. since June. Since June, I've been traveling. Of course, like, people are different. People always have different experiences. You could want to talk to somebody but they are not in the mood to talk or they don't want you to film them mm. but how many times has that happened a couple of times maybe once or twice i i can barely count it so i don't have any bad experience so far so it's an encouraging point for me to keep doing what i'm doing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good that's good so i think we don't have um, people um audience from you and your here in the live stream I haven't seen them. <laughs> we I have to pro you have to promote it uh, the next way, uh, the next time. <laughs> promote it uh, much more before. Yeah, I think I did something wrong. I didn't either let them know on time or, or anything. Uh, I, I uh, yeah. And why do you speak Russian? Oh, I lived in Ukraine. Ah, okay. You lived there. Mm -hmm. I lived there. Yeah, I, I was so enthusiastic. I'm like, I'm going to live in Ukraine for the language. I lived in Ukraine. I was fighting tooth and nail to, to speak the language. I learned the language in a very hard way. I mean, books and, you know, streets and, you know, friends. In a very, I didn't go to any language school to learn Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. I, I was just, you know, it was out of, you know, personal effort, just like Mr. Bord. He didn't go to any uh, Russian language school. It was just out of interest and you know putting work to in your interest but, but he had a um, russian wife I, I i think so i think he had um yeah uh not russian wife not russian um belarusian yeah. belarus yeah belarus oh yeah yeah i think i think so, so. that's the reason why he is uh, into Ru russia and he, he can talk uh, speak the language yeah yeah but yeah i speak a couple of other languages as well like i want to do south okay. america <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine to travel through Russia. I don't know. <laughs> ah, you can manage. For, for me. You can manage. A couple of them speak English, and of course, when they see you're not understanding the language, they'll make it. They are very friendly people. Forget about what the media is saying or what you know. What yeah. the whole world is like. The perception of the whole world about Russians and Ukrainians. They're very friendly people. I mean, my videos have actually proven that to people who are watching my channel. Like. They're very nice. Nice is a very weak word to use. They're very friendly people, very welcoming people. And uh, yeah, but if 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 you have a Russian winter, if you're in the winter time, it's already cold. <laughs> then it's yes, really no. cold. Oh, no, no. I minus minus fifty degrees? Hmm? No way, not for me. 
I'm a hot summer boy. I, I love to go where it is hot. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. In Russia, it can be very strong cold, like 50 yeah. degrees. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to go to India next year? India, I am coming. Jason, yes, I'm coming to India. I am planning to visit Nagaland, but I can't do that without going to good what? old Delhi. Mag Nagaland. Mag what is it? I didn't. It's a state in India that has a, a common ah. bo border with uh, Myanmar. Yeah. I'm yes. Wrong. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm coming to Nagaland, and I'm gonna do that to Punjab. I'm gonna see Punjab as well, if time allows, because I'm gonna have, um, let's say, three weeks vacation. So I plan to do two weeks alone in India because India is very huge. I want to do good old Delhi. Um, the second biggest city in India. I, I keep forgetting the name. Um, what's the name of this city? I'm going to visit there, then off to Nagaland and perhaps Punjab if I want. Like, I have a friend in Punjab, so he's like, come visit us and, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, nice. But India can be exhausting because yes, a know. lot of people, you know, you cannot find the time or place where are not people. <laughs> That's why I want to do two weeks in India. Yeah, that, that's I think cool. India is not open yet for tourists. Mm, that's the bad side of it. I mean, if it's not open, then you can't do India. Yeah, I wanted to ask you what is about um, because now it's getting better and better with the pandemic, with the cold corona. But last year it was very hard to travel, or you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now it's more better. More better. Um, I've been traveling. Um, I'm vaccinated. I don't know other people's view about vaccination, but I am vaccinated. Almost all border crossings ask for it, especially when I go to Ukraine and uh, Moldova and Barbados and Bulgaria. I always had to show proof of being vaccinated, right? Yes. And that that's it. I mean, that's usually the main requirement that they might ask how long you want to stay. I usually stay the weekend. I don't I see mm. the weekend. Hey, I'm here for two nights and that's it. My 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 tickets can prove that and my hotel reservations can always prove that. So I will stay two days and I'm off to the next location. The only place I stayed more than two days was Barbados and um, I think Moldova. I was still, you know, I still had a lot of time. I still had a lot of vacation time. So... Mm. Yeah, you know, I want to meet Samarina in Philippines, but I cannot travel to Philippines because Philippines are already closed. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's hard. Yeah. That's hard. <laughs> Kyle Rock has a YouTube channel in India. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know Kyle Rock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that guy. He's doing mm. a great job. He's doing a great job with the, with the scammers, posting the scammers. The scammers, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And this guy as well is a very great guy, Mr. Jim Browning as well. He's, he's doing a great job. I don't job. know. Okay. I don't know Jim Browning. Um, Kit Boga as well. Same business. Mm -hmm. You know Kit Boga? Maybe. Mm, no. Look him up. Yeah. What is his name guys. again? Kim? Kit Boga. Kit, Kit Boga. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my God. Good. So a lot of channels. I don't know. Yeah. I love, <laughs> <laughs> I love channels. So I wrote you on the message because I, I, did, I, don't, I don't know. I can't comment on the comment section. Uh, <laughs> I love channels. Mahal, um, what is that about? Um, uh, when he is a visitor on, on StreamYard, he cannot post a, a comment in the comment section. It is because it's blur. It's um, what is it? You cannot po chat. You cannot post. I um, forgot. I, I forgot why, but because my girlfriend, she know that. Jason is fully vaccinated. Yeah, me too. All right. I just did it now. I did it from YouTube, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can see it. Yeah. So I'm not <laughs> Yo. Channels. Yo, it's uh, Kit Boga. In Brown. Uh, where? Ah, Kit Boga, okay. Okay, yeah, I have to, I have to look this, mm, I have to check those channels out. My God, yeah. you know, I, I'm so busy <laughs> with a full-time job editing then you need to watch a lot of videos of other of other YouTubers and, and so on. <laughs> My the God. Thing is that at work, I have two screens. I have the large screen, yeah. I have the small screen, 
and I have my PC. So it's all working in my headphones on and listening to music, or I have Mr. Kit Boga rolling, or Mr. Jim Brown rolling, one eye <laughs> on the screen, understand what I'm doing, and then back to work, you know, stuff like that. So, and the YouTube metrics works in a way that you're watching something, they recommend something similar. So, yeah. You might, you might be watching Kit Boga and he rolls into Jim Brown, and so they always kind of mix it up. But they are great guys in, in, mm. in the community oh. trying to, I watch a lot of their videos because like, uh, they give you a lot of understanding of the outside world, what's happening outside the world, how to be more careful, how to protect yourself and loved ones, family members as well. So mm -hmm. check them out whenever you, you can. And that's nice of you to share other channels. Lots of YouTubers are selfish. Oh no, Jason. Of course. I saw I, him. I, uh... He subscribed to my channel. I was like, oh, he's a YouTuber bang subscribe i mean we grow by lifting others you know i mean like they are doing a great job it doesn't matter how for me it doesn't matter how many subscribers i have what matters is that you're passing a message and you're lifting others who are doing, do it, doing a great job as well so yes i don't i don't really um i see i see it in a way that we are all passing a message right my message is targeting a, a particular audience and ning's message Ning, actually, what blew me away from your channel was your editing. My God, your graphics, your design. <laughs> I said that in the beginning, but like that's, that's yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank I you. was I was falling asleep at two a.m. and I saw another one. I was like, okay, let me see what this is all about <laughs> because the the graphics, the designs were all catchy, very catchy. So keep doing what you're doing. Don't try to make it even more simple. Sometimes I film. I don't have time to put a thumbnail and I put it out there and in a month it has 1000 views. I'm fine with that. I passed the message. Someone has seen the message that I passed through. So it's cool. So don't worry about if it's too. Uh, but this, this kind of video editing is uh, needs a lot of time. It, it does. It does. Uh, and average... Instead, I, I, will make, I will make just simple, just hard cuts and then go for it. But my editing, yeah, needs a lot of time. <laughs> an average half an hour video of me speaking Russian with the locals translating takes nothing less than six hours if I want to take my time to do it. If I want to put it some, you know, if I want to make it all shabby, not very, uh, yeah, Ning has the best thumbnail, actually. Your thumbnail Thank is you. Really <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if I want to take time, edit those videos, put the the right the right comments or the right translations. It takes a lot of time. But if you just want to put a summary, maybe it's going to take half an hour, one hour, maybe there about. For what? For editing a whole video? Yeah, for editing a video that has um, um, Russian in it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I I need for edit a video one week. <laughs> yeah because every time i come home and then i edit two hours three hours then you know because i'm making so much kind of these all this stuff in my video all this cinematic or what cinematic or funny stuff i don't know yeah it's a lot of editing but it, it's 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 what is it it's fun for me i love it i love yeah. to edit I, it's uh, my my hobby there is another youtube channel i love to watch especially when I'm at home. I'm not home right now. When I'm at home, I love to watch them a lot because they are, they are true and they are, their work is so amazing. Like in the beginning, you want you want it to happen and in the end it happens. Um, Trilogy Media, I think. Yeah, write it in the, in the comment section. So what is Maniac saying? I keep my edits simpler just because I don't want to spend days and days editing. Yes. For me, the filming and memories are the fun part, not the editing. Well, for me, it's the editing, and of course, it's already uploaded. You have a memory. You, you can when, watch it back. Yeah, back to Maniacs. When I film and speak only English, it's just caught and joined, caught and joined. It takes 15 minutes. What well, I was saying, when I film and I speak Russian, I need to take time to play it, understand what they said, translated in the best translations because I have mm. a lot of Russian communities watching. I think about 50 of them. It's a lot for me. <laughs> I started my channel with one subscriber. 
mm. my friend who actually subscribed and said, yeah, I'm going to support you. Subscribe. I started with one subscriber. Now we are 738. So 50 for me from Russia is a lot. So I always try to translate in a way that it makes sense. And if you read or if you watch the video, you can trust the translation. It doesn't take half an hour. It takes time. Did, did Bold subscribe to you? <laughs> no, not yet. I haven't seen him. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and and I re recommend also you some 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 um, yeah, channels like Jumping Places, a Stupid Tourist, uh, Maniac's World, of course. What Maniac's I, World. Yeah, Kurt Cass. Oh yeah, of course I know Kurt Cass. He's doing a great job in uh, Jumping Places. Here you go, and Maniac's World. Yeah, Maniac's World. <clears throat> it's a small YouTuber. Yeah, you know, I jumping see. places. It's a big one. Dating. Mi nombre es Pablo. <laughs> you speak. Uh, I speak a little bit of uh, Spanish. I'm going to brush up my Spanish before I go to South America. Okay. I have a friend in Guatemala. I have a friend in Mexico, and I have another friend in Panama. So wow. this place is, yeah, these places I might go next, you, year, next two years. And you have some friends in Germany. Yes, I have where, some friends in Germany. Where? I have one in uh, Grossenhain, <laughs> and I have another one in Berlin. Mm. Two, actually, in Berlin. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Born, I'm born in Berlin. Yeah, so... I was I, born we, in Berlin. We could actually meet up sometime. Yeah, we need to meet uh, to make a collab, collaboration. Yeah. We, we can meet in... <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Before the so, end of sometimes the I also can can make. Uh, I will. What is it? Make two or two days free. So yeah. I have a weekend. I have four days off. So it's, right. it's let's, possible let's, for me to travel to not so far. Like yeah. Europe. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, brother. I'm offering. Let's do it. As yeah. long as it's about traveling and filming, it's my thing. Like. I, I plan to, okay, I wanted to tell this to my community, but it's not a secret. I think in two years' time, I'll be a full-time traveler. Full when? Time traveler. In when? two years' time, too. In two years? Yeah, in two years' time. I want to be a full-time traveler. I want to see the world. I mean, like, <laughs> coming from where I come from, mm. traveling is, or traveling has been very difficult for a very long time. Mm. So I'm sort of breaking that barrier and um, I'm trying to pass a message to people who are looking up to me that they can still do it. Mm. <laughs> Should do it for that. Yeah, of course. Of course. I can fly to Germany anytime. I can fly to Germany. So, you know, um, Michele Ponte? He, Michele Ponte, he's from Rome. He's Italy. And he was, he was in, in Africa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He traveled to uh, I don't I don't know also Kenya, and you have to check his channel out. I know him when he he has um, three thousand subs. And no, now? that's wrong. I think I I I had. Oh, I said only the video. Yeah, now he has uh, forty thousand. Wow. Yeah, and and he also grabbed something from Harold because Harold made, made a video when he was gifting his play button away in, in Venice, I think, no, not Venice, somewhere in Italy. And Mickey Leponte jumping in a train and immediately tr wanted to ride to this city to get the play button, but he was too late. He, oh. had, he, he has a video about that. I should check him out. Can you write me the, the channel? Yeah, okay, what what we have here? Yeah, translating is important for the viewers, but you are right. That takes a lot of time and edit, yes. Miles and Davids, Maniac, subscribe. Perfect. You. That's good. Connect to each other. Uh, Michele Ponte. Oh, here. Ponte. Michele Ponte. Take this channel out. Now he is, I think... Since yesterday, uh, he is in Mexico. Many Canadian, you can make a call up with Michele Ponte because he is now in Mexico City. Mexicano, wow. Yeah, so 
I, I mean, I plan to I plan to be a full time traveler in two years maximum, so I could see the world. You know, he has yep. 44 k. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, I've just subscribed to his channel. Yeah, um, and and you need um, what I wanted to say. Uh, so you you want to do your income all income with uh, YouTube, yes? Yeah. To I have a, to. to live from this money. To live, maybe not, because like, you, that, that means you're expecting something. You're expecting yes. more, right? Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't come, then you're, you, you're, you're done. <laughs> Why I said I want to be a full-time traveler is like, I've been working for almost half of my life. You know, like, how yes. much more do you want to work? Yeah, that's the same for me. Yeah. You know, how much I don't like, do you want the, to work? Yeah, all the people are, are is they are so um, wait jailed in the system. You know, yeah. oh, it's so secure here for me. Yeah. I pay all my insurances, and and but you have to work uh, twenty five seven nine to five. Oh my God, you only have a sweet um, thirty days free in in in, mm. in in the in the year. What is that? Oh my God, no. Yeah, yeah. So I want I want to travel when I'm I don't know in the future, and when everything is better with the pandemic. So I need to quit my job, and then I will travel. I will meet my will meet my girlfriend, and maybe I don't know what happened. Maybe the channel is working good, or if not, I can go back. Exactly. And exactly. and start working again. Yeah. Yeah. If the YouTube money comes, it's okay. It's fine. It's an extra addition right it's a good addition if it doesn't come then you're not disappointed right you because yeah. you made you were ready for it you made other plans so why i want to do full-time traveling is i mean like the world is out there for us to see yes but it does not it belongs to all of us right in my opinion visas and passports were all made to break us away right mm -hmm. We're all made to separate us because of this politics thingy and you are in your country. In in real, a long time ago, people were free, you know, people were moving here and there. So I think the world belongs to us. We need to see the world as much as we can. We yeah, see, nice. I love it. Yeah, we need to show the world to other people as well. See the much you can. If I don't see all the countries in the world, but I have seen some of it, I'm still satisfied. There's no dead end ambition. I must see all the countries. Then if you don't, it becomes a disappointment, right? I want to see as much as I can see. That fulfillment is already there, but I want to see even more. I want to see like other places where I have never been. I don't know what life is over there. Mm -hmm. While seeing it, I share with the people that are watching as much as I can. That is it for me. That's the aim for me. Perfect opinion. <laughs> uh, so, what um, you know, Gab Gabriel Traveler? Gabriela Traveler. Gabriel Traveler, you don't know? Okay. And no. he, he mentioned, um, I think, what is the name? Drubinsky? Is that the real name? Yeah, it's I know Drubinsky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he already, I think, um, oh, um, visited every country in the world. Oh. He only need two countries or three like Afghanistan and something like that. And then he has already um, have visited any country on this nice planet. Wow. Wow. And then you also can go for JC Max, please. He's a good one. JC Max. I think you told me about JC Max. Yeah, yeah. He's also a black one. And he's doing a lot of videos in El Salvador. Yeah, I see JC Max El Salvador. Yeah, he's from America. He's a good mm. guy. He's a very good guy. Yes, 39k. Avoid this one in El Salvador Street Market. All right, all right, all right. I and love he, like yeah, he, he was all, okay. Everybody was a small YouTuber, but he is a similar growing, I think. I don't want to talk uh, the false things, but he grows with Michele Ponte. And they make also a collab, collab when they were, were uh, smaller. Yeah. But he's doing a great job. He's doing a nice. great job. Nice. I watch his channel. I watch it. I just subscribed and it's going to see it. Yeah, Jason, thank you again for the super chat. I'm really happy about it because that's a, that's a really 
we are feeling to be monetized and to you know to get super chats that's crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah thank you yeah. so much yeah thank you jay for all the support i mean he's been on the chat you know supporting us um it's all nice when you you're passing a message through and someone is appreciating it i mean trust me that gives you a nice feeling inside you know yeah so and and you're doing videos every day now filming no, vlogging, I don't, no? I don't film every day because mm. I still have, I'm still stuck in the system of nine to five. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you can't run away from nine to five, at least for now. But I plan to break that system in two years. I yeah, no, know. but now you are in Estonia. I, I mean, yeah. in, I'm not filming. In... I'm not going to film here because um, I'm leaving here as soon as possible. There are some locations, there are some very good locations here. But I miss them. They were good for the summer. Right now, it's rainy. It's all gray. Yeah, the yeah. It's not that good. The Same. camera is not perform yeah. poorly. So yeah. yeah, Same here in Germany. But I mean, I can still come over anytime. And before the end of the year, I want to do Africa. I don't know where. We're in Africa. But I'm going to face the sun. I'm going to push. I'm going to run after the sun because like the sun is gradually leaving europe i'm going to go where the sun is still there you know <laughs> make some nice film so you have still family in nigeria yeah i still i still have some family over there but like almost all my family moved to europe and america mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course like i've still i still got some um relative back home when mm -hmm. i travel back home of course mm -hmm. it's always nice to connect with friends and family members mm. but like my immediate family like we all migrated to europe and some of them in america as well but mm -hmm. yeah europe is where we call home these days you know mm. and yeah. <laughs> do you already visited usa no not yet no okay not yeah yet. perhaps next year i mean like working and studying for the past i don't know how many years mm -hmm doesn't really give you that much chance to do much right yeah, yeah 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 but i started breaking those barriers in june so just wait for me next year i'm going to do a lot of traveling next year like it's going to be massive and it's like mm. it's like you've been keeping an anger keeping an anger until the last moment when you explode so i've been keeping this you know burning passion of traveling mm -hmm. until the opportunity comes the opportunity is right here but you can only do what you can do, right? Because you're still in the system. You can only yeah. do what you can do. And, uh, honestly, you know, um, you you need some some savings. Yeah, you do. You, you, do. you can you, you cannot travel and buy flights if you don't have have uh, have the money. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. But again, on my channel, a few people wrote on the comment section that if I want some support, but you're not going to still. Oh, yeah, yeah, link your video. You, you're not going to ask for support when you haven't really done a lot of job. Mm. I, I, feel, I believe deep down me that I still have work to do, right? If anyone wants to support me, just watch my channel, subscribe, share these videos. Like, it's going to help the metric. It's going to help the growth. Right? The, you mean the algorithm? Yeah, the algorithm, right? Mm. It's not always, it's not only about, okay, let's send him tip money, or, or flight money so you money. don't want to you don't want to link uh, for example a paypal or something like that at least not now the only way i want people to support me is to watch my channel understand my story yes um, good understand the message i'm passing through share the videos like subscribe mm. for now i will be content like mm. each like each subscription each comment gives me this you know sense yeah, it's the same for me yeah it's a good feeling yeah <clears throat> you know when you monetized uh, but for example if you get the super chats youtube takes um i think 45 percent yeah so if you get one dollar they take 45 cents and you get 55 cent of that one dollar yeah <laughs> So it's better maybe if if you want that I don't know that people helping in like uh, there's a lot of channels they make like PayPal 
you can donate me on PayPal, you can buy me a coffee, you can send me Bitcoins or whatever. <laughs> People are asking for Bitcoins. Um, no, you know, it's just an option and offer. Like, hey, well, do you want to donate me? Do you want to support me? You can send me something on PayPal. You can send me some Bitcoin. You can send me some uh, Patreon or whatever. You have a Patreon site. Um, yeah, because if, if someone is donating you on a super chat, YouTube taking a lot of money. <laughs> wow. So they are taking 45, 45% for what? Is it tax or is it, is it what? It's YouTube. They want to earn money. You, you know, they, I don't know. They giving us a platform and they, I don't know. They want them. They want, it's a lot of money. Yeah. I don't know. So, but I, I even, I don't want to say some, something wrong because I don't know, but I think I'm, I'm right with that, 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 um, YouTube takes, uh, 45% of the super chats. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. And that's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Just really crazy. Cool. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I think um, what time does snow hit your city in Berlin? Uh, you mean in which time, when does it start to snow? Yeah. I think in the last years, it, it didn't have a lot of snow in the winter time in Germany. Okay. Okay. So maybe in the South Germany, there is a, a more winter like in mm -hmm. Munich or in Bavaria. But here in the northern, the most of the winters are like these um, gray, rainy winters. And right. um, I don't know in Berlin when that's the, the last snow. I, uh, I don't know when the last snow were here in Hamburg some years ago. Yeah. There's not a lot of snow. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. here for tax, for using the platform for tax um 45 is so excessive yeah 45 is yeah that's robbery. That's, robbery. that's crazy oh. Uh oh we're getting some silence <laughs> we need topics um yeah um what, what 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 was i about asking you so what made you start vlogging as i remember you said it was a herald right mm -hmm. and it was through herald you, you got to know about mr ball's channel correct and yes. uh, and then you decided to you know put your road trip videos together and etc but mm, yeah i started the idea like hey mm -hmm. what i want to make a world travel can i what is that compare no not compare um bring it together vlogging and my 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 travel mm -hmm. but i'm talking and talking so i'm not already traveling only these kind of vacations something like that but um it's it's a dream you know and um, then the pandemic did a lot of that and um beside i met samarinia and making new plans like, hey, we want to meet, we want to meet, maybe we can do together a channel. So that's all our ideas that c comes out. And right. on the other side, you know, it's it's for me like a hobby and this editing, I like it, you know. So if you see my, my videos there, the, the older videos are, so I'm not really a lot of traveling, but um, I just had idea. Oh, I want to make a video about that, about that, and I, I bring it out. So that's, so I'm not really a travel vlogger right now because I'm not really traveling, only in the mm -hmm. vacations. Yeah, I'm not a really travel vlogger like you, but I will, I will see what's coming up in the in the future. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's still time. You can do it. Yeah, my story is very, really very simple, right? I was born in the countryside, and it's mm. all changing. If you go back, ah, yeah, okay. Ah, okay, Maniac. All right, Maniac. Like, do a great Thanks job. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Maniac. See, See you around. around. So my story is really very simple. I was born in the countryside, but right now it's all changing. If you check way back when I was born, when I was growing up, when I was a little boy, until now, you almost can't recognize this countryside. It's all changed. A lot of mm -hmm. developments, maybe for good, maybe for bad, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So it's 
in my interest when I travel to see what countrysides or what the countries look like. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's my message. So mm -hmm. I travel not to show the capital cities and all the mm -hmm. flashy skyscrapers and all the glass houses. For me, I've seen them. I've seen them. The, the, the walking streets with Ch yeah. Chanel and Rolex yes, and uh, exactly. luxury <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, you got, yeah. you got my point. Some people are like, why don't you make this beach and the sand and beach vlogs about the beaches and all the purities and beauties of the con no, not countryside the capitals? And the some people in Ukraine were writing me, well, oh, why did you show only the village? Why not show the capital, Kiev? Kiev mm -hmm. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The cities, the capital cities, the big cities are not interesting for me. What's interesting for me mostly at the countryside to see how people live in present day and in those conditions, right? To interview them, to get to know them, to see and understand their perspective as well. People from my side who are watching my vlog and my channel, I am passing a message to them that among all the difficulties they encounter while they're traveling, they can still do it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. still, you know, do it if they dream it, they can do it. A lot mm -hmm. of people want to travel today, but either they are not privileged or they mm -hmm. don't know how to. Some mm -hmm. people were yes. writing me, how can I go to Barbados? What about a visa? They... I always reply to the comments when it comes to a question. If it's just a comment that doesn't require me answering, I don't answer, mm -hmm. but I always require, I always answer. Yes. Like the questions, what is this? How did you do this? How did you do that? Or what is that? How can I do this? I always reply them so that they understand that there is a human who is it's i think it's important as an as an youtuber as in that that you are talking to your community yeah that you have I a do. conversation and uh, so yeah I, i think it's necessary because yeah um I re re remember me it re reminds me um some days ago i wrote a comment on some channels but i didn't get any answer so and, and when you go on look on the comments and he didn't reply anybody. So uh, I don't know, it's it's a pity. Yeah, it's a pity for me, it's weird. Like you're putting out something for people to watch and they might have a legitimate answer. Like they might have a legitimate question for you or a comment that requires your attention. But yeah, you, you don't mm. really care about it. It's it's the way, I mean, like you you don't know them, right? They appear to you as strangers, but you put out that work for them to see. Right? Yes, yes. So there's already a connection. You you consider yes. your viewers as strangers, but you, you have a work for them, right? If you don't want any interaction, then there should be no video. There shouldn't there shouldn't be anything, but there is something. Yeah. yeah okay, I, I can understand it. May if you have a have a massive channel, you, you are not able to because you're getting maybe two thousand comments. How can you, um, you know, um, what is that? Answering every Manage. comment. It's mm -hmm. not, this is too much. But for example, I know um, a guy who has a finance channel about stocks. He's making a channel about stocks. And he has already 200,000 subscribers. And he is commenting almost the most all comments. Even there is no question, so uh, he don't re reply, but he gives it his heart, you know, he, he gives heart. How much? That's very good. He's very yeah. near to his community. Yeah. Yeah. That's commitment. You know, um, another thing is um, personality as well. If your personality aligns with your goals, you, you, you wouldn't see it as a big deal, commenting, liking, and you know, answering your community, but your goal is to make a video, or your your personality is a bit either antisocial, or you really don't care what they say. Okay, they can say anything they want in the comment section. These are two different things, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, <laughs> I remember a, a couple of my videos from Barbados. Um, you know, when you 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 have the gimbal and you have the camera in your hand, you're traveling. You 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 just saying things you see, right? You can see a very flashy house. You can see a very colorful house. You can see a big house. You can see a small house. It happened that just right in front of me there was a very small house. You know, I was like, 
wow, the house is here, very small, you know, just like a comment, like you just saying what you're seeing at the moment. Mm -hmm. You're not saying that the whole of Barbados only have small houses. And I got a lot of people attacking me in the comment section, like, don't say that those the houses here are very small. What about the houses in Africa? How are they? I'm going to go home and I'm going to make a video of my hometown. It's not a secret. Mm -hmm. And people can see the type of houses uh, that are in my hometown. Like it's, I mean, like it's not a secret. It's it's like an open camera. You make the judgment for yourself. Then I got people who are very optimistic, who are open-minded in, in my community as well. They come back and tell them, hey, watch other videos about this guy promoting tourism to Barbados and saying how beautiful Barbados is. Mm -hmm. Not just comment on one video and summarize that he is talking down on Barbados. I never talk down on the country. So another okay. thing is um, YouTubers are trying to run away from the negativity out there as well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of negativity. So some of them turn off the comment section. Some of them mm. don't mind to read the comment because they don't want to be, you know, heartbroken or they want to read mm. something they don't want okay. to read. So there are a lot of reasons out there why they wouldn't reply to any. But I understand. That's the same feeling with uh, some stone. Yeah, exactly. You know, oh, why did my video getting so much thumbs down, you know? Yeah, yeah, you can see a very nice video, like passing a very good message, like yeah, 300 million views, and there are one million thumbs down. Yeah, 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 yeah. People are sad, you know. People are really sad. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. why not? Why not be happy? Why not stay positive for the rest of your life? Why complicate things? Okay, I like this video, but I'm not going to be among the people who are going to like the thumbs down. Yeah. Oh you my know, God. Like, it, it's, 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 it is the way it is, you know. Mm, it like, is. Um, once I was traveling, what was that? The whole plane was full of white people. I was the only bad guy. I always have my correct documentation, my ID, my passport, everything. Then I noticed that they were looking at me like, right from the line. Okay, who is this guy? What is he up to, etc. All right, let's see what's going to happen, you know. I got there and instead of, you know, checking the things that they check from other people, you start with a lot of questions and, you know, but I was like, I was very close to three or four people that got, you know, stamped in before me. Mm -hmm. So why is mine different? Why are you, I was asking myself, why is mine different? Why are you asking me? I, I remained professional. I was answering all the questions. Hey, why are you here? I'm here because this, well, mm -hmm. where would you stay? I would stay because of this. You know, I had all my checklists done before arriving. Then at the end of the message, I was like, are you done? <laughs> Do you have more questions for me? The guy was like, yeah, we just wanted to, you know, a random check, et cetera, et cetera. I said, yeah, I understand. You could see from my passport, mm. it's not the first time I've been traveling. My passport mm. is full of travel stamps, you know, mm. so they wanted to understand a bit more. I was like, yeah, do your thing. I understand you want to do your thing, but I'm going to tell you something. Let's make a deal, right? Are you ready? <laughs> I looked into his eyes. He said, yeah, he was ready. I was like, you sidelined me to ask this additional tiny bits of questions because of my appearance. Am I right or wrong? He never mm. answered. He didn't say <laughs> yes. He didn't say no. Oh and my God. Said, if you can't answer, I will answer for you. The answer is yes. <laughs> now I have two options. Either I fly back to the UK or I enter the country. So make your decision. He was looking at me, he made calls, blah, blah, blah. I could see his color starting to change. He was traveling or maybe like... He's new in the business. He was trying to still get his ground. It's like, I am giving myself two options. I either fly back to the UK or I get in. I have mm -hmm. my taxi already waiting for me right in front of the airport. So make your decision. <laughs> I made his job difficult for him while he wanted to make my stay difficult. But like, there was nothing I, I got through. So <clears throat> all about personality, brother. And you always have to 
expect the unknown, especially when I'm traveling. When I'm traveling and I'm going to a different location that I didn't scout, I just want to go there and see how things are. I have at the back of my mind, I have 90% at the back of my mind that it's going to be an unpleasant situation. Mm -hmm. and 10%, oh. I leave 10% for a pleasant situation. So when it's all pleasant, the shift takes over. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually it is sad. But like, I've encountered a lot of um, altercations at the airport that I don't even talk about them because like it's it's a normal thing, it's a normalcy. But that's not my message. My message is the films I make, the videos I make message i want to pass to the whole world not what happened in the plane or in the airport because like i'm not all for uh this is a sad story I'm calling mm. for pt no i don't call for pt i don't i don't make those type of videos so do you have an um a nigerian passport yeah i still have a nigerian passport okay so is it is it hard for this passport to getting visas um i have Probably. my visa i have my my perm, i have my residence permit mm. but um it might be difficult for other people who don't have residence permit but just have visas to travel you know mm. so they check my residency and they check all my travel history they check mm -hmm. my portfolio sometime online portfolio uh -huh. none of them have link to my youtube channel but recently in Ukraine, I, I ran into two policemen, one woman and one man. They asked me for my YouTube channel because they saw me with a game ball in my hand. I gave cool. Them. So, so did, is, it, is it sometimes uh, if you met some people on the traveling that they already then subscribed? Like in the conversation, hey, yeah, what are you doing there? Or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, or you ask, hey, do you want to subscribe my channel? Or they say, hey, do you have a YouTube channel? Hey, I want to subscribe. Does it happen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do okay. you know, um, you can you can sh share your screen that there was a video I made when I was giving Raffaello chocolate to some Ukrainian girls. They took, they subscribed instantly. When I gave them and I walked away, they were like, Privet. Yeah, that one. Ukrainian girls was Raffaello. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, they took my YouTube channel and they subscribed. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I will. Oh, it's just a three minutes video. Yeah, let's watch it. But some yeah. people might like them, so let's go find out. I don't know okay, if. Wait. Wait. These guys. I don't know if it will be get monet. Um, what is it? Does. Um, uh, um, if I get a copyright claim, I hope not. You know, no. because I'm playing your 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 channel. You know, play it. I don't mind, man. I don't mind, brother. So they wanna go film with me. Let's go check it out. I got some Raffaello. So let's go make some people happy. Stay tuned. Don't go away. <laughs> Please bump. Please bump. <laughs> This bomb. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Cool. Enjoy. Yeah, I like was, I like it. There were two girls that took my YouTube channel. Immediately they saw what I was doing. Yeah, these two girls. These ones, yeah. No, the, the young ones. Hello. Yeah. This bomb. <laughs> yeah, they, they took my Enjoy. YouTube channel and they subscribed. YouTube. That was it. <laughs> cool. Two in one. Comment below what you think. Fist bump. Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. Before we continue, I just want to quickly let you know that that river over there is the same body of river, River Dnipro, where we went fishing on the other video. It runs all the way from Russia through Belarus into Ukraine and falls into the Black Sea, over down to Crimea. So let's go hit the streets and make some people happy. So, so, so you just, that was the idea, yeah? You, you just yeah. go to the people, give a fist bump and then putting them Raffaello. Yeah, I have oh, the Raffaello in my hand. 
fist bump nice. and when I open my hand it's right yeah, yeah. ah that's nice that's cute fist bump huh? <laughs> enjoy she didn't believe it but that's the hmm a couple <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Cool. <laughs> make someone happy. Oh, so yeah, make someone happy. That's and in my hotel, that was where I met Mr. Bold. Fist bomb, что то там для вас, но сначала fist bomb. Да, да, да. Первый, второй. Опа. <laughs> oh, they're looking uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. So, that was where I met Mr. Ball in that hotel. In this elevator. In this elevator, exactly. So, and he he. Not even one remaining in the box. Hope you enjoyed it. So, so he actually was. Um, what is that? Uh, wait. Um, having in this hotel a, a room. Yes, he also uh, lodged there. In was what is what was it, Kiev? In Dnipro. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hotel. So, this is two months ago. <laughs> he's giving permission. Hotel. Yeah, he's. He mean because I told uh, like uh, I get a copyright claim because I'm playing your video. But he said, "Yeah, you you give me permission to play that." You can play my video anytime you want, brother. Yeah, but I talk about YouTube giving me a copyright claim. But I don't think a hotel. Oh God, Dnipropetrovsk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know, um, my mother she she's living in in the Czech Republic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just for you to know. Um, we, we can go there and film. I already have a video. Oh, I haven't seen that one. One, it's one of my first ones. Um, I haven't seen that. So, one. and then you, you also can see if you, you can watch my if you watch my videos, you can see the what is it? Um, how I getting better and better on the editing. Yeah. You know, because first I was editing with Filmora, and yeah, Dnipro Petrovsk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so funny. And I think uh, when you al already stand in front of Bolt and Bancroft, you not you were shocked, but you you I think you were very cool. Like, hey, Benjamin. I was hello. like, yo, Mr. Bold. And he was like, yo, or oh, not? He was silent. He was like, okay, oh, yeah, cool. from somewhere. I was like, no, you don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> but I think we have to give a shout out to Jay. He's been with us all through he's been commenting he's been yes a big shout and out to jason thank you so much for jason. staying i'm coming to india i'm coming to like i'm coming to delhi then from delhi i go to nagaland and yeah just like i don't want to hear that next year india is still inaccessible i hope corona leaves us anytime soon i hope the government will make it easy for me to visit india because I believe myself, I tell this to my friends when I was in when I was in the university. If anyone is watching who knows me would know that I had more Indian, Pakistan, and Bangladeshi friends. Because what's the point of making only Nigerian friends when you all go back home? You've been friends for ages, right? And mm -hmm. you come to the university, you don't make international friends. It doesn't make any sense for me. Mm -hmm. So we've got tons of classmates in India, about 20 of them. I just need to send one message to one person and there will be a massive link up. Think about it. I'll be like, yo, people, look at the people I started with five years ago or six years ago. Imagine that. So for me, I believe that India was the cradle of civilization. Like there is no yes. place you can go without finding a trace of India, either cuisine, either language, mm. either just name it. Like I'm not good with statistics, but like there is no how even you, Ning, there's no how you can travel and make travel videos without visiting India. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't align. So I'm coming to your city, to your country, Jason, next year. 
I just only believe and hope the government are going to make it possible because if they say no, I can't force myself in. I just hope it will be possible for us tourists. Jason is in Canada, all right, but still, I want to visit your home country, India. I will be there next year. But shout out to you, you the man. You've been with us all this while, listening to our stories. I met Ning roughly one week ago. We connected. I love his works. He's at work his graphics blew me away i'm coming to you to learn some more work from you ning you're going to teach uh -huh. me how you do all these editings and thumbnails etc i really love that from you but anyways yes still giving up to you jay you're the man fist bump for you <laughs> <laughs> nice nice statement guys i think um it's actually time to stop the live stream because uh, we had a lot of topics um, I need to prepare for tomorrow for my full time job. Uh, yeah, and um, I'm looking forward maybe to make a next live stream with you. Yes, let's do it. And this time I'm going to inform my community well. Yes. Them well. Yeah. So, so we yeah. plan it. We plan it like one one week before. You know, then we have a one week till we start the live stream. And you didn't get a loss again, yeah. No, no, I think it was happening <laughs> only during the, the tech that's, section. That's funny because when we already yeah. were live, we didn't get this um, issue. Cool. It never happened. Yeah, I was I was wondering as well. It, it never happened. But yeah, Thank you, lot, Jason. Lot yeah. Them. All the Canadian guys like this is Bunjo, Jason, many a Canadian. <laughs> nice. And we have already five people in the house. Thank you guys for watching. Again, Jason, thank you for um, super chat me. It, I told already it's a weird feeling when you're a small YouTuber. <laughs> Something like this has happened. I will buy me a beer. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think let's um, stop this live stream and um, see you guys in the next live stream. Maybe in one, two, three weeks, we, yeah. we can do a next live stream. Um, and we can talk more about traveling and everything and uh, what's on the world going on. Yes. So, okay. Uh, I will stop that now and you can but stay here. Stay. Yeah. All right. Stay. stay. Okay. Okay. Guys, bye bye. Thank you. you. Thank you, Miles, you uh, Miles and Wentz, for, for this nice live stream. Bye bye. Bye, guys. Okay. What is it like? If you have me, done. If you're done.